Check the oil. Diesel up. So here we have it, we are putting on slug pellets and Avadex at the same time and just cuts the slot, puts it in. We haven't got much pressure set on the back roller in order to keep going at the moment. But most of this field is actually much drier than this bit here. Um, just about fall it, forming a sausage just about uh, we just did block up that's why I've got a putt on my hand and we've got a lump in the field over there but it's right on the edge as we go across the field we've done about five hectares so far it gets progressively drier as you go across so overall it's looking quite good so we have put our big uh, uh, 7270 on this and we have put front weights on to try and ballast it up as much as possible to give us as much grip we um, as you will see it is quite a dip that going down that corner and it gets progressively worse it will become harder to pull as we move as we move that way across the field but fortunately it is a bit lighter as you go in that direction so this is in fact our last field of true winter wheat. Uh, we weren't able to plant it at the time because there were still sheep in here. Uh, but the field behind, uh, this green one here, this was the one that featured in the video with the sheep in it last week. Uh, the sheep are obviously no longer in there. So we will push on to plant that with Lennox spring stroke flexi wheat. Um, but next, but this is our last field of Frederica. And because we are not running with much con consolidation, I have asked for the Colsey Press to come here and just try and push this down a bit more try and break up some of these clods but overall at least we're keeping going and we'll get this last field done so there she goes over the edge of the hill fingers crossed she can get back I am slightly skeptical myself uh, this is the real gamble with this field so let us see here she comes or is she coming back empty, not working? He might be playing the only go downhill. No, she's definitely working. So it's also worthy to note that there was a spread of mist here. Uh, so there's no mustard here. And I'm a bit worried that uh, he might move a lot more soil, mini sit. That is very encouraging. There. He's moving quite a lot of soil on this right hand side. This is more what I was hoping for. But I think this will break up. And as you saw in the previous video, actually it comes through quite well. 
but it's quite clear here the mustard stops in this 24 meter bout so um, we didn't get that right more attention to detail required but at least we are still going and it is the 13th of November so this does give you an option for pushing out your drilling window morning it's uh, it's Saturday and uh, I started at 6 and uh, still going so that's a relief we are on the field that I showed last week with uh, that has been grazed and the sheep were in it last weekend and we are out drilling it this weekend so we have still got um, we've still got some residue on the top uh, just the stalks we are achieving uh, 9k and um, we are currently drilling a tram line so it's colored in on the screen in green and they you can see it's cut off the coulters there we're going we've pushed up the seed rate um, to 245 so this will be Lennox the drills running quite clean a little bit of uh, soil on the rollers where they're directly behind the tractor wheels but uh, running pretty clean overall we are also putting on Avidex uh, at the same time and uh, there you go six five six percent wheel slip so and these tires have been on for five years so uh, they're doing quite well they're near the end of their life so to be getting uh, four percent wheel slip when it's raining outside is uh, is pretty good so this is the field where the sheep still are and that was sprayed off and was drilled last night and also sprayed off and drilled last night this was the one that was being grazed and uh, we're drilling it now so we managed 28 hectares yesterday we should achieve I would like to finish this field although it's going to be close with the rain which would give us another 14 hectares today so um, the beauty of the sky is that you get some great output uh, when it's running so it's good to see it back in action and us being able to cover some acres again I heard a wonderful expression last week that sheep were uh, a farmer's mobile muck spreaders and I think that that is a great way of looking at it. If you got a, if you can grow a six ton per hectare dry matter cover crop, and then you can get a sheep or an animal to graze it and spread that manure value back across your fields, it's certainly a lot cheaper than trying to spread muck or compost. So that's why we do it. It is a lot more work, it does require timing, but it is certainly more cost efficient. 